Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. So I hope that you're all doing great today. And so along with these four systems that were seen being marked by the National Hurricane Center, we also have a hurricane over in the Eastern Pacific to talk about because it is a threat to land. And so before I go into details, Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with the Eastern Pacific. And so there we have K located just to the southwest of the Baja California Peninsula. And so it is likely that there will be impacts along the peninsula and so let's go ahead and look at the cone forecast from the national hurricane center and we're seeing that k has maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the north northwest at 12 miles per hour and there are various watches and warnings hurricane watches and warnings and tropical storm watches and warnings that are in effect so it's likely that uh a lot of heavy rainfall along with gusty winds and that storm surge is going to be happening through to the end of this week but as k accelerates up to the north it will encounter much cooler waters and that is going to be helping it to gradually weaken but it could intensify a little bit more and so let's go ahead and journey over into the atlantic basin so here we have four systems hurricanes danielle and earl as well as those two disturbances so let's go ahead and start out with a general view of the the basin and so here we're seeing these systems there we have Danielle up to the north we have Earl churning and we also have invest 95l and that tropical wave so let's look at what's going on for these systems individually but starting out with the Caribbean here we're seeing that not much is going on mainly fair weather across the area uh, maybe a few showers and thunderstorms here and there but things are pretty quiet for the most part right now and so let's go ahead and look at Danielle so Danielle is a very resilient cyclone you could say because the system has intensified a bit so uh, even though it is approaching cooler waters it is intensifying and it currently has maximum sustained winds of 80 miles per hour but gradual weakening is expected as the storm accelerates more into cooler conditions up to the north so uh, it is likely that we could see gradual weakening as we head throughout the rest of this week and portions of western europe uh, definitely need to be paying attention to this system here because the remnants could make their way into the area and bring some impacts all right and so let's go ahead and move on to earl so we're seeing here that earl is not looking too good right now uh, it is definitely not portraying the hurricane it is but it is a hurricane out there and it has maximum sustained winds of 80 miles per hour and it is currently accelerating towards the north at six miles per hour and so earl is likely to become a major hurricane just to the east of bermuda and as of right now there is a tropical storm warning that is in effect for the island Island. So I've been saying in my previous videos that uh, even though models were not really showing the system making its way to Bermuda, some at first were showing it uh, passing very east of the island. However, here is the island now under a tropical storm warning. So tropical storm conditions uh, will be possible within the next 36 hours. And by that time, Earl is also expected to become a major hurricane. So if you have an expansion of both the tropical storm and the hurricane wind fields, then there could possibly Possibly even be a hurricane watch or warning in effect for Bermuda but as of right now that wind feel isn't very extensive but again it is likely that Earl is going to become a major hurricane and if you're in Bermuda please keep an eye on this and ensure that you are prepared for a lot of heavy rainfall that Earl is going to be bringing as it makes its way close to your area. All right, and so let's go ahead and now talk about these two tropical waves. So here we have Invest 95L, and we're seeing that the formation chance through the next five days is at 60%. So it hasn't increased since yesterday, and we could see this maybe become a depression or maybe a weak tropical storm. The next name to be used is Fiona, so this could possibly intensify into Fiona, and we see that there is a west-west-northwestward track uh, expected from 
from the system here and looking at it on satellite right now we are seeing that it is not very organized but it is producing some shower and thunderstorm activity so uh, in the presence of conducive conditions it is exactly that this is going to be getting itself together and maybe become a named storm out there so let's wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be for that system uh invest 95 and so let's move on to that other tropical wave now this disturbance was identified recently and the chance stands at 20 percent for it to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone during the next couple of days and so it is likely that we won't be seeing much happen with this as it emerges off africa however once it makes its way into that shaded region that is where we could see some intensification begin to take place there and if conditions are going to be favorable then the chance is going to gradually increase as time goes by but on satellite right now we're not seeing a whole lot of shower and thunderstorm activity but as i said we could be seeing an improvement with the system as time goes by and so guys now let us go ahead and talk about what the ensemble members are showing for the next couple of days for the euro and gfs so starting out with euro and so there we have them showing earl intensifying and then uh, also expecting that 95l will be becoming a tropical storm at the max and the new tropical wave following with a mainly northwest for like track but we start to see a turn towards the west uh, but the tracks are getting a little bit dispersed and then more waves coming off africa and possibly developing so uh, this goes out to 10 days but i mean i wouldn't be surprised the peak of the hurricane season the statistical peak is saturday the 10th and so uh it is likely that the major hurricane that's going to be out there is earl but let us go ahead and see now what the gfs members are showing and so here we have them and we are seeing that they are showing Earl making its way up to the northeast uh, and 95L intensifying where we have the dark blue that in indicates tropical storm force winds but the models kind of cut off at that area not expecting much from 95l however for that tropical wave we don't see a whole lot of agreement with these members here on what it'll do but we definitely have to wait and see guys because uh we have the dry air out there the saharan dust looking at the map right now there we have all that dry air ahead of 95l so that is going to be playing a part in its intensification because if we have all that dry air persistent then it isn't likely that we will see much become off the system but only time will tell what the eventual outcome is going to be and of course i'm going to be keeping you guys updated as time goes by and again if you're in portions of the caribbean east coast gulf coast now is the time of season to be keeping an eye on the tropics don't let the lack of activity in terms of land being affected for you because we are likely to see a lot more in the coming weeks and so that is it for this update and if you found this video to be quite informative please leave a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be wise